me and welcome back to my channel so today is actually a tech tuesday video super excited um but if you are new here i chat about tech fashion and lifestyle so if that sounds like something that you're into go ahead and click that subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up to let me know that you like this content and you want me to keep going and hello to all of my new subscribers like I'm so happy to have y'all here and I'm also doing a giveaway at 300 subscribers. So make sure you share this content, share all of my videos so I can get more subscribers to come join us in all of this funness and this journey with me and YouTube. Um, and so just to get started with today's video, not to hold y'all long, um, today's video is going to be me really just giving the pros and cons of boot camp versus self-learn so if you've checked out my other tech videos there's no true order but i think that it will be awesome if you are aspiring to get into the tech industry or you're a techie yourself i would suggest you check out my first video which was the five first steps that you should take when you're considering transitioning into tech um, and i'm going to link that up here um, but I recently last week also released another video just giving an overview of my journey through tech and I'll also link that up here. Um, but my tech journey included self-learn and boot camp. So I thought that it would be a great way for me to just give y'all a little bit of insight on my experience with doing both of them and that can really help you in shaping your journey and determining what is really best for you. Um, and so before I start, I think um, in my first five steps video, I talked a lot about like just thinking inwardly to really like self reflect before you begin the journey, no matter what field or industry you're going into, I think it's great to just really reflect and be honest with yourself about what your capabilities are, what your current priorities and responsibilities are. Um, and just what your life is like at that moment to see what is most feasible for you. And so thinking about boot camp versus self learn, I think that's the first step is really evaluating where are you currently? Do you have any prior experience or any prior knowledge? Have you dibbled and dabbled a little bit in some coding language? Do you have some type of math background, statistics background, different things? Just really take a self inventory of what you already possess and what you lack. That can also help you really see what strengths and weaknesses you have and what you need the most out of either option i think also thinking about where you are um like geographically like what city you're in what's available and where you are and um, thinking about what type of position you want what are your future goals why are you in tech why are you trying to get into tech what are your goals that's going to really help you in determining what type of networking and things that you really need and what um kind of path and what it looks like for you um and so to kick it off i guess i'll chat a little bit about self-learn i'll start with self-learn because personally that's what i did first so i received a scholarship with google to do some self-learn um for data science it was partnered with udacity um and they may still offer that i'll put some links in the um, description if um i find any resources i'll look in my bookmarks but um I really thought it was a great opportunity. It was a great way for me to dibble and dabble, kind of get a first taste into some descriptive statistics and some coding. Um, but I will say that one of the cons of self-learn is really um, having that accountability, it's on you, right? So um, when it comes to having your schedule, to really prioritizing time that you're gonna sit down and work on X, Y, and Z, it's really up to you. And so I will for sure, so I would personally consider that to be sort of a con in my experience because I was not good about keeping track of my schedule so like saying okay this is how I'm gonna chunk it out this is how I'm going to do this program because it never had an end date either it was just like pre-recording and um, it was just that kind of self pace and so I think just really being honest with yourself and seeing what um, your you know capabilities are I think that on the flip side though 
a pro of self-learn will be for people with those untraditional type of schedules people that have children possibly people that have several different jobs that have jobs that may be on a night shift um, I think self-learn is a great way where you can make something as flexible as you are so you can really um, outline it and say okay I'm gonna practice from eight to nine then I'm gonna practice from one to two then I'm gonna practice from you know you can really make it exactly to the T fit with what your schedule is and I think that's a great thing about self-learn and also it's free so uh, maybe I should have started with that so of course self-learning can be free or it can be very close to free because there are so many online um, educational tools so you have youtube university of course um but then you also have like coursera data camp um i also put a lot of other ones in the description as well but i think there's a lot of resources out there for um, people to really do it for really low costs um, but i will say because of all the resources out there it can be overwhelming right it can be very overwhelming for you to say okay what which one should i do there's five different not even five there's five million different resources out there for python which one should i do so i think um really could be mind-boggling you know to really get through all those different resources but um it's just very low cost which can be very appealing to people especially people that are just testing things out seeing if it's right for them um without really losing any money in the game um i will say another con of um self learn which is going to kind of transition me into boot camp because it's my favorite pro of boot camp um one of the cons of self-learn is networking now people use the word networking 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 they say it like endlessly i felt like when i was in my career journey and just even through life i feel like we just that's a buzzword that everyone is using um but it's it's really serious networking is so helpful especially in fields like tech that um i think that with self-learn you could be at a disadvantage um without having a real strong community around you without even having a name that you can say okay yeah i went to this boot camp to kind of help with applications different things i will be honest i think that networking with the boot camp is a lot easier um but with that being said it's not impossible with self-learn so just make sure that if you do decide to self-learn that i would start going crazy with my networking early on kind of find some virtual conferences to attend go on um, i'm still an advocate for clubhouse i know a lot of people are done with clubhouse but they have some great tech groups on clubhouse I would check out Clubhouse, I would check out Twitter, like Black Tech Twitter, Tech Twitter, all of that is a great way for you to network and just meet different people. Um, and I would even personally message people. Um, and so like sometimes when I'm working on a project, I would even say like, hey, this is a project I'm starting off. Could you check over it? Let me know what you think. And that would be a great way for you to kind of establish a relationship with someone. And um, it, you just built networking from there. And so I will say that self-learn, um, it just is a little bit more difficult it places a difficult emphasis on networking where i would um if i were you and you decide to self-learn after you've created some type of itinerary and schedule for your courses for what you're going to be using online or in books or whatever i would also make intentional time slots in your calendar to post on linkedin to um even put things on github if you can to share to social media contact people on social media just really being very intentional with your networking um, so that when you're done with your full process of your education and you're ready to look for a job it's not like oh crap like where do i begin you've already started to put yourself out there people are beginning to see your interests and see your skills and it will really help a lot um i talked a little bit about projects now with self-learn i would really really suggest you organize or try to organize some of your projects as well um because that can be one of the downsides of self-learn versus boot camp is just really not having that structure around those projects so the boot camp that i attended we actually had um 
the boot camp really was projects that's all we really did and that was how we learned we learned through projects and so i would suggest you doing some model very similar to that that way um when it's actually time for your resume and for you to look for jobs you have those projects to kind of chat about and so um i guess me talking about the downside of self alert i started really talking about the pros of boot camp um but me personally i decided to actually attend a boot camp because it was very difficult for me to stay on track with self learn um now i did not try to dibble and dabble in different courses i personally just went straight through like google's course that they offered but i did see myself slacking off so like i would just say oh yeah i'm gonna do that this day or this day whenever it just really crossed my mind so i appreciated having a boot camp where i knew okay on what days was I in there? I was in there a lot of days, but I knew on these days, I'm gonna be there from six to 9 p.m. I'm gonna be there on Saturdays from, I mean, we were there from like nine to one or something. So it was just like, I know this is where I have to be. I can't be anywhere else. And I'm learning, I'm working with people. I'm doing projects. We had speakers come in to chat with us that had already been either through that boot camp or was just in the tech industry in Nashville. So um, I just really enjoyed my experience. Um, of course, a major con of a boot camp is it's expensive. So my boot camp was over $10,000. I did receive a scholarship. Um, they offer scholarships for minorities, which I checked different boxes, being a woman and being um, African American. Um, but the scholarship really just pro it discounts part of your tuition. And then the other portion you do have to pay back after you graduate once you land a job. So um, I will, of course, say that that's a downside of being in a boot camp because but like all school, you know, you're going to have to pay for it. They want you to pay for that education. Um, but there are some other boot camps out right now that are offering some amazing things like full deferred payment until you graduate, um, which was very similar to mine. But I mean, there, there are programs out there that are half the cost. Everything is not over 10K. Some are 5K, some are three. So there are really some things out there. I'll put in the description about some other boot camps that I know of that you may can check out and kind of see if that works for you. And there'll be virtual ones um, as well. And so I just felt like boot camp in my experience, it gave me somewhere to actually be to sit down at that time. Um, and then networking, I keep talking about that to y'all, but it's so important to me. So I was working alongside people from all walks of life, people I've never met before. Um, and it just was great networking for me. And then even having people from other tech companies come in to talk to us. Um, and personally, like even when I applied to my job, my job, I, I want to say it was my, it may have been the director. Um, I'm working really closely with him now, but he knew of my boot camp and the school that I went to. And he was like, oh yeah, we've hired people from that boot camp before. And I really, 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 really feel like that's what got me the job. I feel like because I flunked part of my, part of my interview, like I completely bombed it. But I feel like they knew enough about the boot camp and had enough trust in just the type of people that they pushed out and the type of skills and things that we learned um i think that that really helped also the other boot camp um that i know of they are actively constantly in the community trying to find jobs for their students they're always talking to different businesses they're always talking to different tech companies like virtual like ones that are across the country that are remote positions positions locally um they're just really strong advocates for their students and i think having something like that having someone that advocates for you has your back really is committed and devoted to finding you a job that means so much I mean, my school, they offer career counseling. They helped with our resumes. They helped with interviewing. Um, we did mock interviews. We um, actually had people from the tech industry like that you actually may apply to that job in Nashville come in to do mock interviews with us. Like that type of stuff is what goes above and beyond, right? So that's why people, even people that go to college, people that go to high school, that's what is kind of the broader scope of why you're there not just the curriculum which is just like that small little nucleus i guess to say um but really everything else is what really matters that's what really shapes you and gets you prepared and so i really feel like a boot camp will really really help with that 
um I mentioned the resume help now with the resumes a huge emphasis of your resume is your projects when you interview everything you talk about is going to be your prior projects especially if you transitioned into tech me personally that's all I had to talk about that's all I really had to show my skills now of course I had other positions that I was able to kind of weave into saying I handle data but to really advocate for my skills in Python SQL Tableau Power BI I really had to show those projects and so having projects that you can talk about from beginning to end is so important and even being able to shape that in a way to say I was able to help this company save a hundred thousand dollars I was able to help this company identify 5,000 students that won't graduate you know that type of stuff is so important and it looks so good on your resume and it really wows people in interviews and I feel like with boot camps you're able to get that type of experience and that type of project under your belt um, with self-learn it's not impossible but I just really really want you to be honest and from the beginning really structure out how you're going to do those projects and if you need help with any type of project or trying to get your head around some type of project message me and i would love to help because it's definitely not impossible i don't want to deter people from either option um i think that there are definitely pros and cons to them both which is what i was sharing with y'all um but i think at the end of the day just really being focused and really being intentional about your journey saying okay by this date i want to be in a tech position or by this date i want to know at least introductory python i want to have a python project under my belt i want to have a java i want to have a web page i want to have an app i want to have some type of tech product under my belt by this day does not have to be perfect it just can be something to have under your belt to say okay i am trying i am starting this is what i'm interested in and you can actually just shoot that out to different people that'll be your networking you know just tweeting about it hashtag black tech twitter tech twitter those hashtags i mean it just just elevates your your tweets and gets it out to so many people and you have so many people contacting you and communicating about your project so um i definitely think that both options can be great um and if y'all have any other questions about boot camps or self-learn or any resources or questions that you have um just definitely feel free to contact me because to be honest even after boot camp i've completed a boot camp and i'm still doing self-learn so you never really stop learning this stuff no one 100 percent knows anything so um knowing and having resources is always helpful even if you've went through a boot camp or even if you're thinking about doing a boot camp it's so helpful to have some other resources that you have bookmarked like okay yeah i need to brush up on this before my interview um my boot camp really didn't talk a lot about this but i'm interested in it so let me check this out so it's always great to have um so definitely message me if y'all have any questions i'm so excited about getting this tech content out to y'all and thanks so much again for watching remember to subscribe and share this video okay thanks y'all bye